guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this hook case with a scissor holder on the back. To start off you're going to make a slip knot and chain 10. Then you're going to single crochet all the way across adding 3 stitches in the last stitch. Then rotating your work, you're going to work along the back side of the chain, single crochet all the way across until you get to the last stitch and put two single crochets in the last stitch. For the next 15 rows, you're going to single crochet all the way around. Once you've reached row 15, you're actually going to take out the last stitch you just made, chain 12, skip 12 stitches, and single crochet into the 13th stitch. This is going to make the top closure part of your hook case. This is going to be your new starting point. Single crochet all the way around until you've reached the desired length to cover your crochet hook.
so I've done about nine rows for the top. To finish off, you're going to slip stitch the top halves together. Then you're going to cut your yarn and sew in the tail. Next you're going to take your button and some thread and sew it onto the front part of your bottom half of your hook case. Next you're going to make a slip knot and chain the number of chains that will fit around your button. I've chained 10, now slip stitch back into your first chain. Fasten off and sew this little loop to the front part of your case. Next we're going to make the loop for the back of the case to hold your scissors. Make a slip knot and chain 8. Single crochet back across. Chain 1. Flip your work single crochet back across and fasten off. Make sure while sewing that you're only going through the back part and not all the way through so that you're not closing off the hole in the middle. Sew in these tails and you're finished. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe for more, and leave a comment on what you'd like to see next. Thanks, bye!